So several years ago, you might remember, there was a thing called P90X, and it was an intense exercise program that if you stuck with it, was guaranteed to give you a totally ripped body in 90 days. Remember that? Well, it's a good thing I didn't need to do that. <laughs> and in fact, guys, if you want to know a secret, to get away from all that exercise stuff, that secret is marriage. <laughs> so, P90X. So for Lent, we can kind of think of Lent as P40X, which is an intense exercise in spiritual perseverance. And if you stick with it, it will bring you closer to Jesus and it will transform you in just 40 days. So how does that happen? Well, we all have things in our lives, right, that we do that aren't bad, but if we do them too often, too much, spend too much time on them, they can strain our relationships with one another and especially our relationship with Jesus because they take time away from it. So I'm thinking of things like the internet and computers and cell phones and social media and videos and video games and things like that. Even being too busy, trying to do too many things, even if they're good things and we're doing them without purpose, it can rob us of time that we could be spending with Jesus and with one another. So the first step then to P40X, Lent, is to determine what is it in my life that I do that keeps me from spending more time with other people and more time with Jesus. And then to figure out, over the next 40 days, is there a way I can limit the time I do that or eliminate it all together? So that important first step will give you more time, free up more time in your day. But here's the thing. When that time is filled up or made free, it needs to be filled immediately with something spiritual, prayerful, or something like that. Because if it's not, something else is going to take its place. So the next step of P40X Lent for us then is to choose something to do that brings us closer to Jesus and fills that time. And here's the trick here. I would encourage you to choose just one thing. There are a bazillion things you can do for Lent right now. We have a whole bunch here at Holy Redeemer. You go online, you go on whatever, you can find thousands of things that you can do for Lent. But I would encourage you just to do one. Just choose one. And choose one that you think would bring you closer to Jesus. Because when you choose one, you're going to be a lot less overwhelmed. You're going to be a lot less distracted. And your purpose is going to be clear. I am doing this because I love Jesus and I want to better know the one I love. After we have identified what we uh, are going to limit in our lives or get rid of, and once we have chosen something to take up that time, the next thing for us to do is act. And you notice in the gospel today, Jesus was driven into the desert for 40 days, and he didn't go on vacation. He went to do battle. He was there with wild beasts. He was there with Satan, who was going to tempt him and test him, test his resolve, test him to see if he was really going to be able to do what he said he was going to do. And as we heard, the angels ministered to Jesus while he was there. And through that, he was able to survive that time of testing and temptation. So that should be a clue for us that this 40 days of P40X Lent, one, is not going to be easy. 
We're going to be tempted. We are going to be tested. Just like Jesus, our resolve will be tested. Are you going to be able to do what you said you were going to do? So we don't do this alone, though. Even Jesus, when he was in the desert, had the angels minister to him. So we don't do this alone. We do P40X Lent with God's help one day at a time. So we don't focus on the 40 days. We focus on today and maybe tomorrow, one day at a time. So you can do this when you get home at night, before you go to sleep, just reflect on your day and pay attention to that thing you said you were going to do or that thing you were going to get rid of out of your life or limit and pay attention to how well you did that that day. And then think about the thing you were going to put into that time that you made available, the thing you chose to do, and how faithful you were to doing that. And guess what? If everything works out and it's great, thank God for that day and look forward to the next. But you know what? Sometimes it doesn't always work that way. So if you realize that thing you were trying to get rid of or limit, you didn't do very well at it, or the thing you chose to do to grow closer to Jesus, you really didn't get that done, still look forward to tomorrow and ask God to help you tomorrow to do better. And then just repeat this for 40 days. Your perseverance will draw you one step closer to Jesus every single day. Your perseverance will transform you to become more and more like him each and every day. You see, transformation doesn't happen at the end of the 40 days. It happens a little bit every day, one day at a time. So why would we do that? Why would we even do Lent? Why wouldn't we just go on and let it be like any other time of the year? Well, there's a line in a movie, and it's one of my favorite movies, and if you guess what it is later, I'll give you a prize. But it kind of goes like this. The greatest thing you can learn is to love and be loved in return. Now, a lot of us know what it feels like to love somebody and have them love us back. And a lot of us know what it feels like to love somebody and not be loved back. And every once in a while, in the middle of that hurt, in the middle of that heartbreak, we find ourselves doing something that the world would say is just totally foolish. We choose to continue to love, knowing we're not going to be loved back. That is sacrificial love, and it looks just like that, that man on that cross. Jesus died to love us, and he wants nothing more than for us to love him back. Our perseverance over these 40 days is a chance for us to do just that. To grow closer and closer to Jesus, our true love. And to love him who loved us first. And to let that love that goes between us transform us one day at a time and lead us to a brand new life at Easter. P40X Lent. It's an intense exercise in spiritual perseverance. It will draw you closer to Jesus. It will transform you And I guarantee, if you stick with it, 
you will be a different person than you were when you started.